Hi everyone! Hi! So, if you guys don't know already, this is Fleur, or Fleur Divorce, <laughs> and I am still in England, and we are in... She's still here, she won't leave. I know. <laughs> she can't get rid of me. So, I have been in London since yesterday, so we did some shopping, so we are going to show you what we got, and we're going to kind of go in order, but it just so happens that we get to like switch off One as age. we go in order. So, um, yesterday the first place we went was Fortnum and Mason, and I really like this place. I did a, 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 or at least I tried to vlog. I tried to vlog and show the window displays because they usually have really, really amazing window displays, but this time they were kind of like, eh. I mean, they were cool, but... Yeah, they weren't like, wow. Yeah, the last time I was there, I was just like, oh my gosh, the window Sometimes displays. Sometimes they're amazing, yeah. but this time... So I just wanted to pick up some tea. I got These are mostly gifts because, yeah, this is kind of like a touristy thing. Yeah, if thing. anyone doesn't know what Fortnum and Mason is, it's kind of a very posh old fashioned shop that is mainly touristy now but yeah. it sells like teas and biscuits and chocolates and cakes it's very kind of traditional yeah. english but it's cool for american re yeah really and, really nice yeah and it's really nice stuff i've um bought gifts here before so that's why i decided to go back just because the packaging is nice yeah i know it's really pretty <laughs> so the first thing I have here are these Florentines. I've actually never had these, but Fleur said they were good, so. I love Florentines. They're like chocolate with nuts on top. Yeah, so. Nice. They looked good, and then I got <laughs> them in this little tin because it was pretty. And then I got this little trio of teas. There is strawberry, peach, and apple. This is for a friend of mine who might actually be watching and she knows who she is because she likes fruity teas so <laughs> I picked up three fruity teas for her Mary cock off but um <laughs> hi Mary <laughs> <laughs> so those are for her sorry I just spoiled your gift but oh well. she'll be excited she gets to build up yeah you know, gets the build up and then I wanted I picked up vanilla tea for myself because my favorite tea that I have at home is actually a vanilla hazelnut tea. It might sound kind of weird, but... That does sound weird. I really, really like it. They're good. And so I decided to pick up a vanilla one. And then this one's also for me. I'm saying that these are gifts. I'm like, this is for me. Well, actually, this they're is all for me. me. <laughs> I got an Earl Grey classic tea. That's the nicest tin. I know. I love this tin. Love I'm almost like tempted to just use up the tea and keep the tin just because it's pretty. And then I got... Just refill it with non-Fortnum and Mason Yeah. <laughs> Make people think they're getting like, the good stuff. And then I got this because it was on sale for £7.50. Um, and this is just breakfast tea. It's in the Christmas tin, but... Oh, it's well. still pretty. Yeah. I can still use that's that. That's everything. Yeah, that is everything that's for Fortnum everything. and Mason. And then we went to Phoenix which is a department store, if anyone doesn't know. And I got this wallet, and it's actually a gift, but I was so excited to show you all, so I'm just going to show you anyway and hope the person doesn't watch it, because this is going on your channel, so yeah. I'm sure she won't. And it's from the brand um, Deluxe, as in French for two, and then Luxe, which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know why that's <laughs> me being sad, but... Um, and it is this sparkly pink... It's purple, oh. sorry. Sp sparkly purple wallet, and if you open it up, it's sparkly on the inside. It looks like my wallet, too. only mine isn't sparkly. Yeah, you have like the same yeah. one, but grey silver sparkles. Yeah. So that's, that's really pretty. So, And that was on sale, I think. It was like half price, so I was really excited because I'd seen it not in the sale and thought how much the person who it's for would like it. And then I went in and it was... Ugh. And then I went in <laughs> and it was in the sale and I was really excited. So that's for her birthday. So, um, if you guys are from the States, then you know that Lush is kind of pricey. And I knew coming over here that Lush was going to be... I'm so excited for this. I know. She went crazy in the shop. She's like, oh my god! I already knew coming over here that Lush was going to be cheaper, but I didn't know it was going to be this much cheaper Wait, I didn't realize it was cheaper. so expensive in the states yeah it's it crazily is crazily expensive like the amount that I got I would have spent a fortune in the states at home so I picked up a few things a few things that are like stuff. massive <laughs> um if you guys 
um, oh, I haven't posted this video yet, but in it's my December, <laughs> yeah, in my December favorites, which will be coming up soon, I pre-recorded it before I left. Um, I mentioned the Sultana of Soap, and I've been loving this soap. Said this is a ridiculously huge chunk of it, but I got a massive chunk of this soap because it is just so much cheaper. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge, and. At home, I got like the tiniest little sliver, and I had to pay three dollars. And here, I paid fifteen fourteen for this huge chunk. I would have had to pay like probably at least forty dollars, I would think, because usually, like a size that's half of this would go for over twenty dollars. So, so I am expensive. very. I know. <laughs> I know. That's why I never buy Lush at home because it's so expensive. But here, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, all to me. Um, the woman uh, in the shop was trying to sell you like everything. I know she's like, yeah, yeah pick that up. But I, I held, I held back a little bit. And then I got, honey, I washed the kids because I also really like this soap as well. I don't know if I should. I don't. I want to unwrap them, but then I don't because I no, because you have to. You're traveling yeah. for like another two weeks. I then. would unwrap them for you guys so you can see. But I'm sure if you guys have seen Lush hauls before, you've seen these soaps because they're pretty popular. Um, this is the Honey I Wash the Kids, and this one costs eight sixty seven. and a chunk like this at home would be very, very expensive. Um, I got the Strawberry Feels Forever Massage Bar, which I love. This one wasn't... Like smell it. It wasn't it too... Um, like, it, there wasn't too much of a difference in the price, but I decided to pick it up anyways because it was a little bit cheaper, so why not if I'm going to save a little bit of money? So this you basically just use when you get out of the shower. You kind of rub it on your skin, and they're really moisturizing, and it smells really good, too. Smells good. And then I'm excited about this. I'm not a huge mint fan, but if I'm using this as a scrub, I think it'll be quite good because it'll be, like, refreshing. Yeah, and I kind think of, so. Kind of like when you use something with, like menthol in yeah. it. Those little like, <laughs> that head stuff. We were trying, if anyone has heard of, forehead headache relief. We didn't even have a headache. I know, we just like... We were like, what is this? Because my boyfriend was trying it out. We like put it on our heads and it's like it's amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was It like cools so your whole head. It'd be good it's, in, On in, a side note. <laughs> that'd be good in the summertime when you're hot. Yeah. Just like put it all over It was head. really good. Anyway. <laughs> moving back into the lip scrub. I picked up a lip scrub. They have these in bubblegum, which I'm not really a fan of, and then chocolate and mint julep. So I decided to pick this one up because I figured it would be the best, but I'm really excited for this. It's just um, a scrub that you put on your lips to get rid of any flakes, and I definitely have an issue with flaky lips. We should both try this out. Yeah, let's how... try it tonight. Yeah, because we've both been complaining about our lips recently. So dry. Yeah. I like... don't even know why because it's kind of got warmer here. Yeah. It hasn't even like gone cold. I know yet. my lips just look horrible, but you guys can't see it on yeah, camera. So. Luckily, <laughs> otherwise in person you'd be like, Ugh. but um, the last thing I got was the dream cream. I was tr like desperately trying to decide whether or not to get this, but in the end I ended up picking it up because I figured it would be good for Thailand because I want nice, smooth, soft skin. So this is just this is a hand and body lotion, but I'm just planning to use it on my body. It's not really thick enough for hand cream, I don't yeah, think. It's I don't, definitely more of a body cream. It has a nice, like, clean scent, and it's really moisturizing, too. It's pretty basic. It's nothing, like, fancy, and it doesn't have a strange scent or anything like that. So that is everything that I got at Lush, and my total came out to... 40. I just saw it was 40. 43. 26. So it would have cost way more than that if I had purchased all of this stuff in the States. So yay! I'm excited about Lush. <laughs> I am really excited. And she was just kind of like mm, crazy. I like Lush, but I'm not crazy about it. I like yeah. the bath things, and you don't take baths. Yeah. So I was like, get that! She's like, I wouldn't use that. It but. sounds so bad saying, you don't take baths. Yeah, you smell. I, uh, <laughs> I shower. I shower, but I don't take baths normally. I love baths. So, okay, talking of bargains, I picked uh, out a bargain. Yes. We were in Selfridges. Ta-da! Um, I'm excited at, for this, and this I'm, isn't even mine. I'm so glad <laughs> they didn't have two, because we both loved it. And we were looking at the Laura Mercier pistachio, so what was it, creme de pistache, um, pistachio scented hand cream. And there was like a sale table, and the sales assistant came over and put this box on the table with a label that said £27.50 on it. And I was like, is that available? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, I'll have it straight away, because I knew what it was. Um, and it is the 
creme de pistache trio and it comes in this amazing box which is really nice this would have been an amazing gift someone had just brought this back we were Who like return why would you return this it's the best thing ever and it comes with a full size um body cream a full size um is it bath milk honey bath and a i think it's like a half size body scrub and these smell absolutely Amazing. Like, That's why I keep smelling my scarf. If you see me smelling my scarf, it's not because I'm a weirdo. But we spray. Oh my god, they're so good. The creme brulee one is really good too, but I think I prefer this. <laughs> We're like, mm. oh my god, it's so good. We sprayed the we sprayed the pistachio fragrance, and it smells a bit old la ladyish. That's yeah, what I have it on smells my good when you first spray yeah, it. Yeah, but the, the whole body product line is amazing. And I, this itself is like forty two pounds, I think. So we got yeah, I got all three steel. for twenty seven. I was like, <gasps> oh my god! Everybody we've been like having or showing this to, they all think that it's not it's not sweet enough. Yeah, they don't really care for the scent, but we're but crazy we, about I, it. This is like the best thing I've ever yeah, smelled. I mean, it smells so good, and I've been looking so for the good. hand cream. Um, I was debating whether or not to get the hand cream, and then when I finally decide that I want it. All of the counters don't have it. They've all been sold out, but it smells... Have another quite last smell before we put it back in the box. Oh, it smells so, so good. good. Like, I would pay it's full amazing. price. Obviously, I wouldn't buy all of them at the same time, but I would pay full price for one of these. And I oh, nearly yeah. had, like, a mini heart attack when they were £27 for three. I can't believe you, like, got all of them. And then I was like, you have it! And you're like, no! no. we're like, no, you have it! No! No, because no. I'm getting the hand cream, so you Plus, take this off. would be heavy to, like, yeah. oh, lug back. To yeah, that would it. not be fun. I already so have enough stuff that is my bargain that I found that I love. And then from today, today we had our meetup, so we did a little. Which was bit. amazing. Yeah, it was Thanks so much. Thanks to everyone who came. If you're yeah, watching this, I it know. was so cool. It was so much fun. I was really nervous. We were really nervous yeah, before. We were like, like, no one's gonna come. I know. It's gonna be so bad, but it was good. So um, we went to Zara beforehand. This is a bag. It's nothing. Yeah, no. it's a black bag. <laughs> Don't need to show it looks the Zara like bag. A, it looks like a bin bag, but. Um, I just picked up this jacket, and I love it. It was the last one in extra small, so it was kind of, like, meant to be. I don't know if this is going to show it up. It looks like. kind of funny. On camera. This it looks is cute. such a cute jacket. I yeah, love I it. really love it. And then this is what it, it has. has patches. Pa yeah, little patches on the elbows. I think uh, you should put it on and see if you can show. Yeah. Because I think it looks really nice on. This is what it looks like on. It might look a little bit tighter just because I have... All these layers on and the red scarf doesn't really go with it. But this is what it looks like and I love it. I've been looking for something like this and I figured it wasn't too bad to purchase something from Zara just because the pricing is fairly similar. There's not a huge difference. <laughs> I'm not getting back as, in the show. As I'm trying to undress here. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I love this. Love, love, I love. I love it. And her sister has one that's similar to this. Yeah, she I saw was her wearing, wearing it this morning, and I was like, I want one. It's so <laughs> cute. And then it was on sale. Yeah. It was meant to be. Meant to be. Oh, yeah, I got that for 40 pounds. So, not too bad. Six. Oh, a spike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? It's an alien. <laughs> and then we went to Boots. Hello. And you were reading this on Pixie Woo's. Pixie Woo's blog. Yeah. About the... Collection 2000 Big Fake False Lash Effect Mascara. Ooh, looks like this. Yeah. It's 4 99 And even though we bought another mascara this week, I know. we decided it would be cool to try it. And it's also good. Because, whoa, it's really dry. Yeah. Right. It's a huge brush, look. It is really dry. Uh-oh. But we'll see how it goes. If yeah. Pixie were recommended it, I can't imagine it being bad because yeah. they're amazing. So, um, it's a huge brush. It looks we're like a try this. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It's cool as well for yeah. you to try it because this is a brand that you can't get in the states, yeah. which and it wasn't, there aren't many. It wasn't so. like ridiculously. No, yeah. And then I also picked up um, a new Sally Hansen Mega Shine top yeah. coat because it's the best. Oh, excuse me, my nose. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is the like the best top coat ever, and I just run out. I Do know. You want to say that again because you're itching your nose. No, it's fine. I'll just keep that in. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. People can see me itching my nose or scratching um, my nose. Yeah, and this is like six. 50. I think it's cheaper in America, isn't it? Yeah. But, but it's really way, good. It's I just ran best. out of mine, too. I yeah, love it. She's the so one who good. got me hooked on that stuff. I think it's way better than the Sesh Feet. Sesh Feet, I think, is 
like a rip off in comparison to this because this is so much better. It makes your nails way shiny. I'm like shiny on my face. <laughs> it's reflective. <laughs> it's way better. It ha your polish lasts longer and your nails you are shiny. You put it on yeah. wet and it dries. It's like a gel. Yeah. It's just and so it good. And it doesn't smell like sesh feet. Sesh feet smells like... Smell? Yeah, it smells like lacquer. Like yeah. that you or, or like a stain that you would be putting on wood. It smells horrible. Ooh. So... Okay. That, that is everything that we got. So I'm not sure if we're going to be doing any more hauls, but we have been like... <laughs> I hope not, because I'm going to be broke by the time you leave otherwise. I know. I will probably be doing hauls once I get to Thailand, but um, we have been vlogging and stuff. I'm just in the process of meshing it all together and trying to make it look nice, and then I'll post it yeah. on my vlog channel. And we do have footage from the meetup and pictures yeah. as well. I think she's going to post the pictures on her blog. From the meetup. I might do yeah. a review on that mascara and put pictures on my blog for that as well. Yeah. So if anyone is in the UK and they can yeah. buy it. I don't yeah. know. So <laughs> if you're in the US, it's kind of All pointless. of her links will be down below and then all of my links will be down below as <laughs> usual. <laughs> Any information you want to know. <laughs> yeah. All the information that you will need will be down below. And yeah, I guess that's it. So... We will see, see you guys soon. later. Bye. Bye.